Welcome one and all to the one and only Radio Ratanga. They say that when it comes to children, the more the merrier. My friends, it's certainly true that having a big family gives you more support in your old age. But to get there, A, you have to be able to raise them. That is, to provide as much education as possible to all your kids. To give them the best chance of success in life, some decent career prospects. Friends in Ratanga and elsewhere, there we go. My own flesh and blood. Hmm. How did I manage to bring such a foolish boy into the world? Men are really all the same. This little idiot thinks she can steal my son from me. When Tuli is ready, I will not get him one wife in the village, but two. I'll teach you to scare an honest woman. Come back here, you swine. Hmm. Oh, yes. I'll teach you to scare an honest woman like me. How dare he? Yes, yes, I hear you. Swine. No, I'm not insulting you. Here. You shouldn't be giving Sarah a domain while you're on the telephone. The food is all prepared. You have to keep an eye on Sarah. That girl is cheeky. I know how to look after kids. <sighs> right. I'm off. I shall be back soon. If in doubt, my number is here. See? On the table. So tell me, what are you hiding, girl? You're too happy. This is not normal. Do you have the support papers? Yes. I actually had to go over to the house twice. Luckily, I didn't have to queue too much. I hope these are the right papers. I don't want to get bogged down in the paperwork in this morning. Go wait for the result outside. Thank you.
Hmm. Well, well. What do we have here then? Tuli hit me again. He tried to apologize while crying. But I know you will do it again. I really don't know what to do. It's like a prison. Beatings, insults, humiliation. He's going to end up killing me. Sojika glove, seven out of 20, right? And 30 of KDJ, okay? And sit on. <laughs> you, you don't start for another hour and you are here already. I'm an early riser. I'm not saying you should be Wonder Woman. <laughs> Do your round at your pace. It will be fine. Yeah, I've got so much to learn and I have to pull my weight if I want to be accepted here. Yes, but don't overdo it. You have to be rested so as not to make mistakes. Do as you are. And it will be more than enough. You don't get any medals for being a martyr. <laughs> <laughs> not try to be a saint. Just so I can be of more use here at the center than sleeping at home. Ah, youth, of course. Yes, youth. Speaking <laughs> of which, my last patient was 15 years old. She's too young to be a mother. to Ratanga. We get all sorts here, my dears. Even the unthinkable Kosa will tell you. It's not always so easy here as some people may think. <laughs> I'll admit that it's much better thanks to her. <laughs> mm? Also, when I try to talk to them about mentra sakun and contraceptions, oh, it's like I'm speaking Chinese. Mm -hmm. These little fools don't listen to wise words. It goes one ear and out the other ear, just like babies. Maybe if we insist then, things might improve. Hmm, just look at her. So you want to change the whole world, huh? We can't change minds here. We are just plastering over the cracks. Well, my girls, have to work. The patients are with you. Coming in so early, Asitan, won't make you Ratanga's best midwife. Come on, make yourself useful. The young girl over there, she's a real rabbit, I mean it. She's so careless too. She's pregnant again. Go tell her the good news, Mother Teresa. Good morning. Are you a Made? Yes. I've got some good news. You are pregnant. Maybe it's not a good news, apparently. Yes, yes. But I have to see my husband. Did your husband come with you? I can go fetch him if you like. No. He works here. I would rather tell him. Okay. If you want everything to go well during your pregnancy, then you will have to make sure you rest. Do you have other children? Abu, a little boy, and I have a girl too. She's eight months old. And I'm still breastfeeding her. Have you taken your contraceptives? Listen, the most important thing is to look after yourself right now, okay? Said the woman who can't look after herself. Before you start lecturing people, look in the mirror. You can't come into work with a dirty lab coat. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. 
Sirah, food is ready. There is no chili. Let's go get the chili. There is no chili here. There is no chili here. Come on. Sarah. Come, let's go borrow some from the neighbor. Hmm. Madam, madam, do you have a pinch of chili? Hello? Sarah, why are you crying? Your parents fighting again? None of your business. Are you family? No. I've come to steal their children. There is shouting and banging. Well, are you family then? Maga is very unfortunate. Poor child. If she beats her, then she deserves it. Could you stay for a bit longer today? Do you hear me, Maga? You are closing up today. Yes, yes, okay. Computer 5 again. Computer 5. Is the internet cable again, Mr. Dulani? I told you that replacing them will be worth it. Maga. Only I get to shout around here because as far as I know, only I pay the bills. Aisha, you make a list of all the people invited to the meeting on Thursday. Mm. Okay? Okay, sure, no problem. And I believe Dr. Mulai was invited too, right? Dr. Mulai, where are you, Tala? Do you think this is the right time for a third child? I'm going to bring you back a second wife. Who knows how to take care of me? Hormones, the rule of ours. Excuse me, do you know Tala? Emma de? You okay? I'm a bit busy here. Do you need anything from me? Well, it's your colleague who told me that Tala was here. Yes, he's my husband. I don't know Tala. I'm new here. Are you sure you are okay? Actually, I saw your colleague uh, pour ink over your lab coat. My mother-in-law is just as me to me. Kosa, you never miss a chance. Ha, ah, sweetie. It's up to you if you don't want to eat. But you know, if you eat, you will grow bigger. If you grow bigger, you will be beautiful. If you are beautiful, you will have all the men chasing after you. And then you end up breaking up marriages. So don't eat. It's for the best. Mmm. Oh well, you win. Hmm. Where is your mother? You. After all this, I still haven't managed to organize a date with Tuli for our trip to the village. Hmm. Enough time to daydream. Hurry up now, girl. What a lazy girl. What kind of mother are you? I'm going to find you a second wife. 
Who knows how to look after me? Dear, oh dear. Looks like you are having a bad day, my girl. I'm just so tired, Badien. My head is going to explode. Your mother-in-law still wearing you out? If that's the end of it, I could manage. What's wrong, my dear? I'm pregnant again. Oh, wow. And I don't know if it's a good time. Oh, wow. Having a bad day? You are serious. What will Tala say? And my mother-in-law? Don't worry about your cover. Tala will support you. That's what matters. But I know how Tala works just to put food on the table. Mm. You know, I was the youngest of eight children in my family. That's eight good reasons to worry about having another child. Try not to worry. You know what they said? A child is always a blessing. I have always put others before myself. Always doing chores. And when I finally left home, it was just to marry Tala. Oh, come on, darling. You are lucky to be married to the man that you love. Yes, I love him. But I could have earned more than him if I had continued my studies. You would have more money for sure, but only to buy more dappers. <laughs> hey, Badien, what would I do without you? Thank you. Come on, Thank my you. dear. Cheer up. Be brave. What's your game? Was it you who stained my lab coat? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Someone saw you do it. How totally childish of you. Well, they must be mistaken then. Is that so? It's not the only mistaken one. Next time, try not to incriminate yourself. Oh, the saboteur must have gotten me too. Don't even bother yourself with that. It's a waste of time. See you tomorrow. We are closing. Come on, come on, everyone disconnect. You have to go. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Goodbye. See you soon. Excuse me, sister. I just want a kilo of tomatoes. My kids are waiting. My sister. We all have kids waiting, huh? But my mother-in-law is looking after them. Huh? That's a completely different story, please. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I have to start going. Rokoba can't complain now. Your change. Hello? Yes. I came back to the cafe and found we are already closed. Yes. But you promised that you will stay late this evening to make up. What? I never said that. But I'm at home. At home, yes. No, no, I can't talk. Listen here, my God. If I can't rely on you, well, then I'm very sorry. But then what use are you? Okay, then, right. I'll stay late tomorrow, promise. It all went well. I won't ask you why you are late. In any case, I charge by the hour, Maga. Charge? 
Tuli told me it was for free. You know that is a real joker, that nephew of mine. I only stopped to get some tomatoes. It's me. But auntie, you are still here? I was waiting for you. We need to talk. I want you to come with me to the village this weekend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello there. Are you okay? Good afternoon. How are you? Hello. Ah, hello. The famous job graces us again. Well, yes. But uh, I'm looking for the young woman who... the one who, who treated me yesterday. Ah, don't you worry. Any one of us here will give you the best care, I assure you. I'm not worried at all. Uh, I'd just like to see the young lady for... for personal reasons, eh? Oh, I see. My lovely! Ah, you again! I see you are getting more and more adventurous and artistic with your dress sense. <laughs> well, listen, I'd love to invite you to dinner to thank you for taking care of me so well. It will be my pleasure, honey. My pleasure. Thank you. I'll be glad to join you for dinner. But you know, there is no need to thank me. It's my pleasure. I was only doing my job. Hello, doctor. I hardly saw you around today. Um, well, well, thank you, Kosa. And um, tell the new midwife to come see me when you see her, okay? Ah, Kosa, I've been looking for you. I need your advice. Yeah, uh, what for? Do you think I can buy dinner for Asiton to thank her for helping me find an apartment? Eh? This is a health center, not a pickup bar. Hmm? The laundry still isn't done. Nothing is ready and Tala will be home soon. Mother, I was at the center. The test took longer than I had expected, but I have prepared dinner. I made a chicken soup, mother, and I know you will like it. Let's see. At the center, they told me that I'm going to have another baby. <gasps> What's rubbish? Who's the father? Hmm? Ah. Mommy. Here, baby. Hello? No, wrong number, I'm afraid. It's dangerous. Don't leave Sira alone on the table like that. You are right, Suli. 